Hi, I'm John Schneider from Fargo 3D Printing here at CES 2016, and I am in the new mat or the excuse me, the new Pro 3D booth with Diego, one member of an amazing team that's put together an incredible 3D printing technology that I think is going to change the way that 3D printing is done. Period. Thank you very much for that. All right, <laughs> and I think that should be good. Yeah, so we were told, we were told that you decided on the 20th to uh, come up here. Very, very, very quickly. The reason I'm showing you that is because I just want you to know that the it's not this huge box, okay? The reason we use this box is just because we wanted people to have it at eyesight. Right. Now somebody told me, make a small machine and put it in a table. Yeah, but I like I like this machine. I like this size. Right. <laughs> so the reason why I wanted to show you this sphere is because this little sphere is what everybody's been talking about for the last year. Right. Why? Because Carbon 3D can print it in six and a half minutes. We print it in 4.3 minutes. That's, That's the speed. But there's another thing. We do not have size limitations. We can print an object one meter by one meter by one meter. The technique that we use is not dependent on the resin that we use. We can use any resin in the market, doesn't matter. What brand you give us, the technique will work. And we print an object like this, for example, in 15 minutes. That, that's incredible. I mean, that's a lot of, that's a lot of volume. And that's a large part. This one is in seven. So can you tell us a little bit more about how, the, about how the technology works? How is it able to cure the resin so quickly? Basically, we have a dead zone. So, but we do not go through the process Carbon 3D is doing. We do not use oxygen permeable glass. And oxygen permeable glass has a problem. It has thousands of little tiny dots that you and I cannot see. But the light sees it. And they have refraction problems with it. And the other thing is that you cannot get a one meter by one meter uh, oxygen permeable glass. The biggest size I could find is four by six inches. So it's very limiting and I don't have, I'm not pumping oxygen anything, right? The secret is really on the dead zone that we have in here. I, ca I can't tell you how we do it because we, uh, we are under the new law of uh, patenting in the US that allows us 12 months of secrecy. So we want to use those 12 months. Sure. So that's why, that's all I can say. We do have a dead zone. Okay. The dead zone is what is allowing us to go so fast. But it has no limitations. If you bring me uh, Formlabs resin, I can print it. If you bring me the Envision Tech resin, I can print it. I can print with any resin. That's, that's incredible. So. It doesn't have that, uh, when you're saying that it has that dead zone, it doesn't have that same peeling that needs to happen, that delaminating that needs to happen on something like a form lapse machine. No, nope, there's no peeling whatsoever. Not even close to peeling. Because we have some microns uh, separation between the object. And then theoretically you could have a four foot by four foot build volume. I mean, you know, if you had, a, if you had enough projectors tiled together to provide enough resolution. Okay. I, can, I don't need a projector, I could use a laser. Okay. So right now Cambridge, uh, I, uh, Cambridge Photonics has a laser that is one meter by one meter. Okay. Okay. If I, if I place that laser just a little bit farther away, now I have two meters by two meters. So really there's no, there's no restraint. And I want to mention something else. Listen to me for a second. <laughs> Let's say I, get, I grab this, this substrate and I place it up there in the roof, 25 feet away. Okay. And now I place my special plate underneath the substrate. Okay. And then I start coming down. I can come down as far as I want. Okay. So we're working on a model that can print wind turbine blades that are 25 feet long and it will take us 16 hours to print 12 wind turbine blades and I have the drawing here and I can show it to you because it is part of the patent But I can show it to you okay. if you want to see it You just have to wait for me for a second to sure. find it 
but it's a unique innovation in the sense that for whatever reason, somebody didn't think about it before. So this this part probably won't show up as well on the uh, on the podcast, but yeah. but, but but I, but I, I get what you're I get what you're saying though. Being able to print something vertically that's very tall. I mean, I don't know how long it takes right now to make the turbine blades, but oh. then based on the resin you're using, it could be very strong, very smooth resolution wise. So that it it should. Okay, know. so that's another misunderstanding that I, I I see in the market today. Look, as it, it is my understanding that any resin in the world. I don't care what resin it is, is subject to be photoactive. Any resin. So let's say you manufacture these wind turbines and you use this special resin called set resin. Okay. Okay. So that resin comes with a catalyst. What we do is we get the catalyst, we throw it away. We get the resin and we send it to Sigma Aldrich, which is maybe the most important chemical company in the planet and they will give us the photo initiator for that specific resin. Okay. And that's it. That's... We don't need to develop resins, you see? Right. They're all there for us for the taking anyway. All these companies, I, I, I'm, I'm really happy that we're all here. I mean, I'm in favor of everything developing, but it's a fact that these companies require their own specialized resin according to their technique. In our case, because of the technique we were lucky to found, find, we do not need a special resin. We can use any resin. So let's say you're, you're building kayaks. Okay. And that's your hobby. Right. And you like this resin that you buy, I don't know what brand. So you give us that resin. We give a sample of that resin to Sigma Aldrich. Sigma Aldrich gives us the photo initiator. And because your kayak is uh, eight feet long, we place the substrate on a high ceiling we, and we go up with a, with a vat and we come down with the vat and we extrude your kayak in, in hours. That's very cool. Well, so New Pro 3D doing incredibly, incredibly amazing things on the, on the resin much. printing side of things. I want to thank you again for, for taking the time to meet with me. I'm sure that this is going to do some very, very big things in the future. Well, uh, let me tell you something. We're coming up with a metal printer. Okay. And we promise it will be twice as fast at least okay. soon. All right. Well, we'll be on the lookout for that from New Pro 3D. Thank, thanks, thank you again for your time and have a good rest of CES. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Thank you. So this is just going to be very short, just, just, and then we'll tack it onto the front of, of what we started with before. Okay.